This series of videos is being independently published by me, a manager and former receptionist at Hostel Cat in Las Vegas. Uh, we're just sharing how we use Cloudbed since it would have been nice to have these videos when we switched over. So let's hop right in. This is the Cloudbed's dashboard. You access it by clicking this button and it's the first thing you log into. Uh, pardon the blurs because we can't reveal uh, private guest info on YouTube. So first off, up here and on many of the pages is a learn to use video that Cloudbeds produces itself. Um, and then there's a refresh button which I've never used but it's kind of cool now that I know it's there. A create new reservation button. There's a green button like this on the dashboard, the calendar, and the reservations uh, tabs. So you can make a reservation from many areas in Cloudbeds. And there's how many more arrivals we have left that we haven't already checked in today, and how many more departures. Since it's 9 p.m. while I'm recording this, the departures have already departed. This reservation section on the left is the primary way that we actually use the dashboard. Once again, there's a refresh button that I've never used, but is actually uh, seems useful now that I have noticed it. There's print options. You can print it all today's reservations, uh, today arrivals, departures. Uh, I stayed at a hostel where they had all their departures listed and then they highlight your name uh, when you checked out so people do use these printouts and then if you use reg cards or registration cards or we actually use um, these re registration cards uh, features for our bed receipts you can print all the re remaining 11 arrival uh, reg cards um, just by clicking this button so the only time we might consider using this is when we get a bus full of 20 to 40 check-ins from our connections that drop off buses at a hostel. You can also print them one at a time as people check in. So arrivals, and for today, that's the automatic setting on the dashboard. This is what we use the absolute most on reception. And when we're busy and we can't just scroll through um, the names of people, we type in part of their name here and it pops up who we're looking for. So this is a practice reservation. One thing that when this search bar wasn't here, actually you can on any any of these tabs selected you can also use control F and search for whatever you're looking for as long as you're on the right kind of area so if I'm looking for arrival for today then I can find practice practice but if I'm in departures uh, there are no practice practice departures <laughs> so if I didn't have to keep our guest names private I could show you more of this but uh, in arrivals today or you know departures today you see the name of the guest first and last the any notes can be seen here if they actually have a note on their reservation there's a yellow dot you see their confirmation number this is their um, cloud beds number so if they book an OTA that's not this number they have their room and their bed number so it just depends how your hostel names room so this is a dorm booker for room 18 bed e and if i want to open this person's reservation i just click on their name and it brings me to their specific reservation so i've found that if practice practice a person has booked with uh, two people in a dorm the second person their confirmation looks like this except it has a dash and a two at the end of it and maybe if they had a third person it would be a dash and a three 
So all people in the dorm booking just have kind of their own separate lines. But once you open their booking that all have the same name on it, it's just one reservation, assuming they didn't make multiple ones under the same name. Departures automatically goes straight to today. This is the, probably the second most used feature on the dashboard for Cloudbeds for us. It includes the same exact uh, info, except you're just looking at who still has to check out today. It also includes people who have split reservations. Um, so for the us, usually we don't split a booking into two unless we have to move them rooms. So it tells us, oh, this person is a departure today, but um, just note that they're, they're not technically leaving the hostel, they're just leaving their room. You could use the search bar for this area as well. And I like the departures today area for chasing like late departures, late checkouts. So we have our receptionists and housekeeping staff do this. So if your name's on this list after 11, there's a supervisor who is going to come in the room and ask you to check out. I've found that we don't tend to use this though. Um, with checkouts unless it's not a very busy checkout day maybe there's only like seven people checking out then it's useful for finding quickly but um if we were able to um, alphabetize by room number that would be great that's primarily how we find people to check out and it's easier for us in the calendar generally since um we don't um store our room names chronologically that's a whole other issue but uh if if your room number names just are just one two three four five great ours are like a room 18 b room two you know so it's all over the place also to note is the search bar in the upper right corner you can search guest names and any kind of confirmation reservation number associated with uh, reservations in this area. We also use the cash drawer feature, which our property paid for, so yours might not have it or need it. And this is used uh, every hour for our receptionist to balance their cash drawer um, in cloud beds versus cash drawer in reality to make sure they're balanced but that will be a separate video. And that is literally all we use in the dashboard. The rest of the dashboard uh, just shows uh, how many people booked today, which people booked today, cancellations, overbookings, and below this area is a 14-day occupancy outlook, all of which are receptionists, average receptionists don't need to know. Uh, but we can't take it off of the dashboard right now. Otherwise we would, but it uh, doesn't really matter. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button if you want to keep receiving more videos and maybe become a Cloudbeds expert one day. And don't forget to press the like button if you're finding these videos useful. Thank you.